What's up guys, today we're going to be comparing the Galaxy A54 5G to the S20 FE. So this is a comparison that I really wanted to do. It sort of illustrates older flagships versus you know the newer mid-range. You can find the S20 FE I believe for like 200 bucks. Uh, the A54 is going for 400 bucks right now. And you guys are going to see a some pretty big differences. Uh, with these two devices here and you'll see why I kind of like older flagships more try to be you know completely unbiased in this comparison and just you know pretty much state the facts here all right so let's kick it off with the design so the a54 surprisingly has a glass back which gives it a more expensive uh, look than you know you would expect um, and also the sides are plastic though so it does give it a more cheaper feel though so you actually have the opposite going on with the S20 uh, so basically this has a plastic back but these sides are metal on here so it kind of feel they both kind of feel you know like premium and cheap at the same time uh, so you know they're not gonna feel like totally like a you know a S23 Ultra where you have a full glass and metal design so that's pretty interesting, but most older flagships, they typically have glass and metal designs. This one, Samsung, you know, did that, I believe, with the S20 FE and I believe the S21 series. All right, so design-wise, you know, obviously the A54 has a newer design. It pretty much comes down to, you know, personal preference here as far as design. Um, one thing I do like about the plastic backs is that uh, they, you know, when you drop your phone, they don't crack as easy right because it's plastic um, but you know with a glass bag I see them all the time on eBay and stuff like that a lot of cracked phones um, as far as the height of these two phones they're almost the same size the A54 is a little bit thicker the S20 FE is a little bit taller here as far as the hardware uh, both have dual speakers on here and both have uh, micro SD card support as well too and the S20 FE is IP68 dust and water resistant and this is IP67 so not a massive difference but uh, it is a slight difference there alright so you kinda have the same displays on these two phones so the A54 has a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display it's 120 Hz HDR10 plus and then it's 403 for the PPI Gorilla Glass 5 the S20 FE it does have also a Super AMOLED display 120 Hz HDR10 plus it's 6.5 inches so it's a slightly bigger display if you guys can sort of see that um, so slightly bigger display it's also both these phones are 1080p and this has 407 for the PPI so pretty much identical in terms of specs here they pretty much look the same um, you know they both have the punch hole in the middle and they both kind of have a little bit of bezel to them as well as you guys can see here I think the uh, A54 has slightly a little bit more bezel um, but yeah, the displays actually are extremely similar. They pretty much look the same in terms of color and They're both very smooth, you know 120 Hertz panels here. So again, not a big difference uh, With displays going on you're still getting two very good displays both these phones perform really well outdoors They both you know get fairly bright as well, too uh, So really no issues uh, with the display quality on the a54. It's you know still pretty impressive all right guys so here's pretty important part so the cpus on these two phones there's a pretty big difference here so the a54 it does have the xenos 1380 chip on here micro sd card support 128 gigs of internal storage and 6 gigs of ram is this model the s20 fe has the snapdragon 865 chip it also has micro sd card support 128 gigs of internal storage and 6 gigs of RAM also on uh, this version. You can see the Geekbench scores here. Now, the thing is that the S20 FE, its last major OS update was Android 13 and it's currently getting security patches. So that's one thing that you should know here. Now, when it comes to the overall speed of both these two phones, um, the S20 FE definitely, I would say it's smoother when you have a lot of applications open. Um, but in general, I think when you're just, you know, sort of just opening apps and stuff like that, then it's not really that big of a difference. So I'll go just go ahead and show you guys just open some apps and you, you'll see like a slight difference. You'll see less kind of animation stutters, I guess, with the S20 FE when you have a lot of applications open. But if I don't have a ton of stuff open, they're pretty much on par with each other, um, honestly. So with Subway Surf. 
So you can see just like right there, just getting a subway surf, just a little bit of kind of like a little animation. But you can see still very, very fast. Like I said, the only difference you'll really notice with speed on these two phones is when you have like a ton of applications um, open. Now, let's go ahead and launch PUBG here. And I wanna sort of drive this point home here because there's a massive difference uh, when it comes to gaming on these two phones as well too. So let's just see which one we'll get into PUBG. And guys, be sure if you want the wallpapers, I have the link down below. And then also the live wallpapers, I use an app called Live Loop. It's in the Play Store. You guys can check that out. All right, S20 FE and A54. All right, guys, so we're in PUBG. If you are like a competitive gamer, and especially if you're on a budget, um, you're getting the S20 FE. You know, it's just way better. I can play at HDR Extreme on this phone, and I can get some very nice, consistent, smooth frame rates on this phone. Uh, it's like a night and day difference here. Super smooth. Um, it's just it's just so much better of a gaming experience, and that's a pretty much across any game you throw at it. Um, Fortnite, Call of Duty Mobile, whatever you're playing, you're gonna have a much much better experience because of that extra power with the Snapdragon 865 chip. Even though it's an older chip, it's still doing you know miles better as we saw. Even with the Geekbench score, that's where that power really comes into play. The A54 cannot do anything at 60 frames. So I think the highest I can go to is balance high. That's about it. Um, so yeah, so it's like a night difference. Just, you know, playing around with it, it just feels choppier. Um, not choppy like in like it's a glitching, but you can tell like something running at a lower frame rate versus something that's running at, you know, 60 frames. So yeah, so that's like a massive, massive difference. So I would say there is a big speed difference here. Uh, with these two phones there's a big difference with power especially if you're a gamer if you're not a gamer you probably won't care too much but again like even if like i said if i have a ton of applications open on this and i have a lot of applications on here it's able to manage them better and it, i notice the s20 fe doesn't kick me out of applications uh, as much so that's definitely something uh to think about i think the overall experience is just smoother right and also, let's talk about the software experience as well because it's pretty much identical, but there is like one, a, a few things here. Like there's one main thing that I really like that these flagship phone have is Samsung desktop support that is nowhere here on the uh, A54, but everything else is still here. Secure folders, Samsung Kids, all that good stuff. Um, also, you're missing the reverse wireless charging and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so Samsung desktop support. I, I really like it. I did a video about it um, Yeah, so those are like, you know, sort some of the things that you get with the older flagship still you still get the The flagship experience pretty much both these phones have stereo speakers. Let's go ahead and compare these two max volume a54 Pretty interesting. Uh, let me check something here. This have Dolby Atmos on. Well, it sounds like Dolby. Uh, yeah, it sounds like Dolby Atmos was on on the FE. So it's pretty interesting. The S20 FE is louder, but the A54 has way more bass. So even with the Adobe Atmos off or on, it doesn't matter. It still has more bass. Um, but this is louder. Um, so it kind of comes down to the sound 
quality, the sound that you like. It's, it's not that this lacks a ton of bass, it's just the bass is sort of, it's not as, it, this sounds fuller. Um, but I can hear like the, the mids and like I can hear the small little details and stuff a little bit better. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like, do you like more bassy sound or more like flatter sound? All right, so let's talk about the cameras. The A54, it does have a 50 megapixel standard, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a five megapixel macro. I don't know why Samsung just didn't put a, a telephoto lens in here. Uh, you have 4K 30 video on the back, 32 megapixel selfie with 4K 30 video. The S20 FE, it does have a 12 megapixel standard, eight megapixel telephoto, 3X optical zooms. So you have like an actual zoom lens on here. 12 megapixel ultra wide, shoots in 4K 60 on the front and back, and a 32 megapixel selfie cam. Um, so, I'll go ahead and show you guys the shots. Be sure to let me know what you guys think. All right guys, here's the video on the A54 5G here, We're shooting at 1080, 60. It looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. All right guys, here's the S20 FE. We're at 1080, 60, and 2x, 4x, 10x. All right, so I was asked about the fingerprint scanner. They're both actually optical fingerprint scanners. Um, but what I will say is that they pretty much operate the same, but the animations on the S20 feel smoother they look smoother compared to the A54. It's still smooth, but sometimes it could be a little choppy depending on, like I said, if you have like a lot of applications open. And maybe they could fix that with software updates. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the battery life. So the battery on the A54 is a 5,000 milliamp battery. It's 25 watt wire charging. Um, so you know, it doesn't have reverse wireless charging or wireless charging, so that's also something uh, that the A, the S20 FE has. So this has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery, so slightly smaller, and also has the same charging speed at 25 watts, but you have that wireless and reverse wireless charging. Uh, basically, the A54's battery life is definitely going to be better here, in my experience. You got to remember the S20 FE; it's an older phone, so sometimes you'll get battery health. Um, you know, your battery health goes down. Um, but I can still get around six hours out of this phone and the A54, it seems like this phone I can get, you know, like maybe close to like seven hours of screen on time. It really depends on what you're doing, but I felt like I was getting like seven hours of screen on time on this thing, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, so battery life is pretty good on both, but the A54 definitely will get you a bit more screen on time for sure. All right, so that's pretty much it guys. Be sure to let me know what you guys thought. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.